Good morning guys, or hello, good evening if it's evening when you're watching this, good afternoon, whatever time of the day it is. Welcome back to my channel today. I am filming over today and tomorrow. Myself and Tom are actually going away. We're going, well, we're going to Manchester, which we only live sort of on the outskirts of Manchester anyway. But we have booked in for an overnight stay at the Midland Hotel. We have a dinner at Dishoom booked tonight. There is also a spa at the Midland, which I've been to before and love and I know Tom's gonna love it as well because it has these like cocoon chairs you'll see when we get there tomorrow morning we are booked in for a massage so I've just done some ironing I'll show you what I'm wearing today Tom's actually already in Manchester he set off earlier for a meeting so I'm gonna drive over in about an hour this is a jumpsuit from pieces which I've just ironed so I've just hung up I'm gonna wear this now and then this evening I'm probably going to wear this from in the style it's the new um, range that they've done with fashion influx Lydia's range is beautiful it has these gorgeous nude shades so I'm gonna wear this satin shirt dress kind of thing but wear it open with some white denim shorts wedges and a little Zara knit top which is all packed up over in that bag I'm going to be taking my YSL Lulu bag and then I'm going to take my laptop as well because I'm going to head over a bit earlier so this is from Azarina if you haven't already make sure you are set for this video make sure you're comfy cozy grab yourselves a drink maybe some snacks and I also just want to show you one thing that has literally literally just arrived that's why i'm starting the vlog here rather than in manchester and as you can see this big box here on this bed has just arrived it has a couple of homeware bits in it which is the first time i've ordered homeware bits off asos so i'm excited to see what they are like i'm kind of hoping this doesn't change my plans for what i wear today and tonight because i'm already all packed up and everything i suppose i can save it for a later date but you know when you get something new and you just really want to wear it well we'll see we'll see let's crack it open and let's see what's inside if you saw last week's vlog you'll have seen that i put in a sales order so all of these items were or are in the sale if they're still in stock i'll leave them linked the first thing that i see are a pair of these are like kind of cycling shorts but denim so they're super stretchy from stradivarius originally in a size 10 and this is what the label is cycling shorts these look like they are quite thin so you're gonna have to wear nude nude underwear to get away with this so this is the next item well i don't know if they advertised it as a top or a dress i can't remember yeah a dress but it's like mini but then there's a panel at the front and the back which is ma um not maxi i'd say midi so this is asos's own brand and I got it in a UK 10. Oh yes, okay, I picked up this because I wanted to try out that whole styling kind of 90s trend of a satiny, silky scarf as a top from Glamorous. Rectangular rather than square. I was hoping for a square one and I could do it in like a strapless triangular shape, but this instead is gonna have to be more of a bandeau if I did wanna wear it as a top. Oh no. I've ordered something I didn't mean to. So this has arrived and blue is certainly not my color scheme. I'm just gonna leave this closed up actually because I would never order this. I must have seen an image of the cream one but maybe not changed the color. Oh yes, I forgot I got this. This is like a macrame hanging planter. Have a hanging macrame like wall art thing but i also have uh hanging planters but i don't have a macrame hanging planter okay next item that i got is in this gorgeous lemony kind of color and i mentioned in the video last week that i'm kind of wanting to incorporate a bit of lemon into my wardrobe a bit more this is a denim dress it's very thick i'm always a big fan of a puff sleeve detail this is asos's own brand it's the asos denim range in a size 10 made in turkey what are these oh yes did i get yes oh this is so nice okay i picked this up again it's asos's own brand these shorts are in a 10 and it's part of a short suit which i'm loving at the minute i've posted a couple of pictures on instagram recently of me wearing a short set I just think they're a nice outfit that looks very well put together that you can easily mix and match and obviously wear as separates but this is the short yay oh it's beautiful it's kind of a subtle salmony color to it it's very light pastel orangey 
colour. It's not cream. Okay, it needs an iron, obviously, but I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that. Okay, this is another linen number, again in a size 10, and again, ASOS's own brand. And this is a cute little linen button-down dress. Again, it has the puffy sleeve detail, which I'm a big fan of. Okay, this is the last clothing item that I got. Again, it's in that linen fabric. It has a beautiful sort of cinched in bow detail here on the bust area. And then the ties tie at the back to allow you to have a bit of back on show. And it is essentially a midi dress. Picked up a pair of shoes. I'm loving the strappy kind of sandals at the minute. And these were in the sale from Public Desire, obviously on ASOS. And that's the front design. And what I liked about this, I did pick up a pair from Zara recently. They were in the sale last time I checked for, I think, £19.99. So, yeah, they have some really nice strappy sandals on Zara. But this, from Public Desire, has that same square toe design, strappy crossover detail here, but a block heel, so an easier one to walk in. Although that is quite a high heel. I didn't realise it was going to be as high as it is. Last item now and it is a homeware item i think i remember what this is i think it's a vase so this is i thought it was like very urban outfitters it's a cute little vase in this white color and a kind of a not distressed effect here on the pattern but like a worn effect on its own with one sprig of something it would look quite minimal simple maybe quite nice in the kitchen right it's time to clean this up a little bit get organized get off to manchester and i will see you guys when i reach the midland hotel A mission or a trek but a bit of a maze to get through this hotel not really a maze either I'm being I'm exaggerating I'm exaggerating so I've literally just walked through the door this is our door room 517 we're in a superior king thank you so much to the Midland for putting us up for the night we're excited for our little date night Tom is on his way he's finished with work so I'm gonna go downstairs and meet him outside when he gets here but I've got time to give you a little tour of the room so I'm gonna flip you around and show you the room okay so from the front door you look up and you've got the bedroom here to your right and then here we've got a nice little open plan living area which is cute and then we have our little mini bar room service menu here and then we pan around here and they've left us a little treat i think the sorbet is melted in the heat even though this room has the ac on we've got a fresh fruit bowl and da, 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 we have some champagne and here we have our bathroom I've literally just turned the lights on so they're just flickering on now. So we have some products by Geneva Guild there. Shower, it's very spacious, I will say that. Let's spin back round and let's head into the bedroom, the boudoir. Ooh, oh, it's very bright and light and open. So this is where we will be sleeping tonight. Nice, big, spacious, open room. Nice big double mirror as well for an outfit of the night later on, although I'll try and get Tom's to it. This is the jumpsuit that I told you about earlier and I'm loving it, I think it's cute. I like the pink, even though you guys know I'm not big into the massive colors. <laughs> Like I would never wear that colour pink, but this colour is very subtle. It's like a nice soft blush So I'm a fan and I've just paired it with my nasty girl sneakers. These are so affordable and so comfy I found him What did you say? I hope you've taken a picture No, <laughs> taking a video, but go on crack in. That's the first thing you dove into as soon as you got in the room mm. Is it good? Yeah, oh yeah. What's our plan gonna be? What's our plan gonna be? 
what uh, what time you can't book at your place, can you? What place? I don't know what you're talking about. Chef's clever. Why? Can I try a bit of that? Why is he clever? Just uh, how he's done the cherries. Look at the carrot. I'm trying. I like the mud. No, I'm alright. Um, can't book into what? What's your call? I've no idea. We're going to tea. To shame. We're booked in. They've invited us. We're afraid of that. What? Is there a fridge? Yeah, there is. We put it in. We don't do that, yes. You've had your half? Mm. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If you want to, but... I mean, we're, we'll be eating plenty tonight. Yeah, we've got the dessert. They still have just booked in for dinner here. Oh! So just do lunch. Well, it's quite nice. Mm. Big. Well, this is a superior king. High ceilings, isn't it? Yeah. That's rare in Manchester. That's a massive difference. Though. And look, you can see the Hilton from our window. Sit up. It's tiny now, the Hilton. Have you not seen the towers, the new towers? South Tower, North Tower, have you seen that? Well, isn't West Tower taller? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the apartment? Well, that's the new tower there. You can see it massively over top of it. This is where we're going tomorrow, in our little pods. So this is the Hilton, which is the West Tower? That one next to it? Or the other one? The one with the Oh gosh, yeah. That one. <laughs> it's huge. That's what she said. Stop, I thought you'd finished. We'll put it in the fridge. Oh no, the plate won't fit. You're gonna have to have it now. And relax until we need to get ready. Yeah? Or do you want to go out? I could do, but you can go out for a drink before if you want. What time is it now? Uh, okay. Half four. Mm, I need to do my hair. I'll do my hair and see how long it takes. Look how much my fringe has grown out. Did you not like it when I had a fringe? Put it. I like your fringe, but I like that. You prefer it grown out a bit? Well, I think it's easier. So, Sir Nefika, do you like your coffee black or white? No, if you start saying stuff like that. No, if we're going to South Africa, that's what I'm going to be saying. You <laughs> right, now that all my hair is curled, and I just sort of hold each curl for maybe 10 seconds or so, and then before I separate them, what I do is I get a bit of oil in my hands, which I'm going to get now. Where is it? So I have this mini Moroccan oil, which I got in my glossy box, and this video will go live when... The July's Glossy Box edition is still out. So if you wanted to get your hands on it, you can get this Moroccan oil in it and get a discount with Freya 30. It gets your first box for just seven pounds. And this in itself is more than double that or around about double that for just that size. And I would get it just for that. So obviously you get more products included as well. But if you wanted to get your hands on that, I'll leave the code below. And if they have any July boxes available, 
I'd recommend it. So I use a tiny little pea sized amount of this Moroccan oil in the palm of my hand, like literally just a tiny bit. And then, and then heat it up by just, oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of Moroccan oil. I've got like a running commentary behind me. And then I'll just firstly scrunch up the curls. <laughs> you scrunch. Like so. And then run my fingers through the curls just to separate them a little bit so that they're not too polished. It's a bit more undone. Because that is how I prefer it. More of a natural beachy wave rather than ringlets and then I'll get my flexible styling hairspray from Neil and Wolf and just run it through the ends both sides and then I'm going to flip upside down and do it so that it gives me a bit of volume And this is pretty much the finished hair. Bit of volume, bit of wave to it. Nothing too perfect, just that kind of like undone look. And then I think I'm just gonna top up my makeup because I've already got some on before heading out. This is the hair from behind, if I'm showing you right. I hope I am. Are you ready to get ready? Ready to get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Watch us right for the mic, watch us right for the mic. Watch us right for the mic. This is the iconic body illuminator and I've just got an old tanning mitt. I just put a couple of pumps and watch the difference here. Now close. So before, after. Go closer in there. So look at that shine. And it bronzes as well at the same time. Okay, for lips, I've put on my number seven lip liner in nude, kind of overdrawn them slightly on the top, overdrawn them slightly on the top, and then kind of filled them in a little bit. And then Thomas, I'm gonna let Tom decide which lip gloss I should use, either the Crushed Liquid Lip by Bobbi Brown in Lychee Baby, or the Steeler Lip Gloss in Golden Parachute. Are we going with a goldy brown or a pinky nude? This one, Bobby Brown. Yeah. Okay, this one it is. And that is the lip. I actually really like that product. And then I'm just gonna pop on my jewelry. These earrings which are Primark. Ten pass. So it's fine. Tom's rushing me and getting me panic. 20 minutes and we're in Manchester already. Oh, he's so annoying. Always oh, gotta wait for me. You actually don't. No, you don't. Anna Luisa. And then Ring Bashi. Right. Shoes on and then I'm ready to go. Shoot, shoot. 
All the garlic cheese naan over there and the Romali roti we don't do it in the just next to him. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> oh wow. It's very hot here. We just had a nice tour of the restaurant and we even got to go down in the kitchen which is quite cool, wasn't it? And I didn't actually realise how big this restaurant is, so it's pretty big. I mean we're sat there's the window, there's Tom on his phone on date night. Oh come on, you've been on your phone all night. I know, I know. We're in like the front section, but then it goes to the middle area, which is like the waiting area. Or the permit room. Did you know in India they have to get a permit to drink? That's why they call it the permit room. And then the main dining room at the back is huge. I did not know it was that big. So we've just ordered another drink. I've gone for the same again, and Tom's gone for a mango latte. Which I feel like you always get a mango latte with this one on the menu. It's nice and soothing after a bit of spicy food. And we've ordered dessert. So we've gone for a chocolate pudding and a mango kulfi, which comes with cinnamon ice cream, I think. Oh no, that's chocolate pudding. So we're just going to share that. And then are we going to go somewhere for a drink after or back to the home? That means he wants to as well. We've still got an hour yet though. We could go. Have you been to the Ivy yet? Yeah? No. Well, let's go to the Ivy for a drink. It's nice enough. Really? Not yet. Someone wants to ruin the uh, display and say, Dead night. Oh, stop. Right. One quick picture. Boomerang. Right, go for it. Got me on the Ooh, get a zoom in on that bad boy. How do you, how do you think? Just move the camera forward. <laughs> oh, ASMR, ASMR. Do you expect that to be warm? Try this. Thank you. No, 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 no. Tom, I've got makeup on. We're now in the Ivy. I love it in here so much. We're gonna have a drink here. We might be back in time. <laughs> Shh, no one will ever know. No one will ever know. All goes. It's alright. We're having a lift party. Right, time to head back and chill out. I'm ready for our spa day tomorrow. You excited? Yeah. And home sweet home for the night. Are you dark in it too? Looks like we're out late. <laughs> the people. Oh, yeah, so I'm oh I'm Kappa, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> pretending to be drunk. That is not a good idea. Good morning. We've woken up this morning and it's kind of a bit overcast outside, um, which is annoying because later on today for Tom's mum's birthday we have like our local our village is hold, holding holding some kind of like outdoor festival thing and if it's forecast to be miserable that's not the best but never mind so this morning on our agenda it's about half seven we've woken up and obviously no makeup or anything because we're booked in at the spa we've got treatment at 10 but i think we're going to go down have a nice hearty breakfast now and then leisurely head into the spa enjoy it for a bit before going to have our treatment which is like a massage called city living with their spa and then we are going for lunch at mr cooper's which is a restaurant in this hotel let me just show you quickly what i'm going to be wearing today this morning and after the spa it is this beautiful dress i love the neckline and the all of this section love it and it has a little bow detail here which you can tie at the back just to make it a little tighter around the waist. It's very simple, it's like double lined so nice and not sheer. <laughs> and then these little Primark 
macrame style flip flops and this dress is it's from Vera Moda but it's part of their better cotton organization I think it's made to be more sustainable I'll put on all my jewelry and everything and obviously pack and sort all this mess out later on we need to check what time checkout is so that we know what time we can have the room until oh I'm tired this morning but we had such a lovely night yesterday nice little date night I think it's important to do date nights every once in a while. I'm walking down the corridor on route to breakfast and Tom just said that's a holiday so <laughs> my flip flops I wish we were on holiday. On holiday. We're, yeah we are we've had a very like, mini night away holiday. Super Cooper Saturdays. Super Cooper Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the front row, kicking back old school trash like damn. Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. So I always like to get a little bit of everything, so I've gone for sort of my cooked breakfast here, hash brown beans, eggs, bacon, mushrooms, a bit of the sweet, the waffles, the pan of chocolate, a bit of cheese as well on there, and some fruit and a filter coffee. And Tom has gone for more of a toasted bagel with ham, and you're waiting for a poached egg, right? Two poached eggs with a little mini pan of chocolate on the side there, I see. But he says he's still full from last night. I'm not, I feel like I didn't eat as much as you though. So, I'm ready to dig in. Let me break it down right quick for my haters, my dictators and bad raiders. Since you never seem to get it right no more, they're right no more. Kick back your feet and watch your back from perpetrators. My game's strong in my range roll. I got the blackjack juice and my racks off the roof and the you see the SUV rolling up next to me, old enough to take you over Sesame. Remember, back when I was a kid. All the Dad, hello. Ground, Ground floor. Oh, Sorrento. Did we, was I vlogging at that stage? Yeah. I was. Oh, well, I'll leave a Sorrento vlog on the little eye up here somewhere if you did want to see it. It was a while ago. That's for Tommy's birthday last last March. So we are all done at breakfast now and then we're gonna head down to the spa. Checkout it isn't until 12. So that times it quite well. It's about half eight, nine. We'll get to the spa, enjoy the spa for an hour before our treatment and then come back up to the room to pack, ready for checkout before heading down to lunch. So that's good so we don't have to like take our suitcase and stuff with us. There's your trunks. And a nice little pouch for you for when they get wet. Oh, it's nice. That's nice. It's just. Ow! Ah! Oh. Ow! Oh. <laughs> you got me. Oh. Here we go. Time for the spa.
We're just post massage right now, just chilling on our phones, just relaxing. They said to wait about 15 to 20 minutes for all the oils and everything to sink in before we go and use these spa facilities. But we do have to, there we go. We do have to check out in an hour. So I think, I mean, we've been here about 10 minutes. I think we're gonna go and have a look at the spa facilities, use them for maybe 15 minutes or so, just relax in the steam, sauna room, jacuzzi, and then head back to the room to pack and check out. The treatment that we had was called City Living S Spa. It was 50 minute treatment, and I love S Spa products. They are so nice, they smell amazing. So it started with a back, neck and shoulder massage um, and then they did an exfoliation of your back and then what well, and then they applied a back mask which I've never had anything like that before and then after they'd done that we or whilst the mask was like soaking in and doing its thing for 10 minutes or so they moved on to our legs and we stayed on our front obviously and they massaged each leg until the mask was ready to be removed and then like a mini finishing it off with um an oil and moisturize on the whole of your back and shoulders and then that was pretty much it so the majority of it was that initial back massage which i really needed i get so tense up on like my shoulders and neck and back and everything so I felt like that was needed, so I'm just zenning right now. Does anyone remember when I came here once, I'm pretty sure I vlogged it, and we had a meditation special, no, we had a meditation session whereby we were all sat in these pods and this guy's voice, They, I think they do the morning meditation sessions, morning motivation meditation, something like that and i think they still do it and i think you can book in so if you are interested this is just the spa at midland it's probably my favorite spa that i've been to in manchester time to check out i've not done my hair yet oh i'm gonna have to do that when i get home ground floor ground floor We're starting with the caesar salad go for it that salad. Is, that? is it a scotch egg what is that? Oh, yum. Amazing, thank you. Oh, look, there's anchovies in it. Most people go, Ugh. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Are you? Mm. Delicious. I'm just going to get a bit of mash from the pork belly. And I love this, when you get this on the pork belly. Let the crack there. Last course. Go on, I know you want to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a chocolatey cheesecake. And you know when the cheesecake base is thick? That's this. There's nothing worse than a cheesecake with a really small, thin, pitiful base. Vanilla ice cream. Yum. What's your verdict, Chef? You liked the mains, didn't you? Good chef. This is a good chef. No one can ever hear you on my block because you speak so quietly. Why? No, why? You come to watch me, you come to watch you. They'd love to see more of you. Yeah. Mm. So, can you taste what's, can you taste peanut? Can I taste what? Peanut? Um, I don't know. It's Tom's mum's birthday today, isn't it? So we're gonna go to a festival in our village. I say festival, it's, there's maybe 10 stalls with different food and then a, a stage with a band that performs. So when we get home, I'm gonna do like freshen up hair and makeup head on to that little festival thing with Tom's mum and some of his family. We might get some food afterwards or drinks. 
and just that's the plan for this afternoon so I'm not going to be vlogging it because it's Tom's family so I will end this vlog here I hope you enjoyed coming away with us our little date night spa break did you enjoy it really, really good I really enjoyed it so if you want any more of these give us a thumbs up and maybe we should get some more booked in because it's been nice isn't it we should do date nights more often so thank you so much to everybody who watched until this far give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week